All right, guys, so today I have something very special for you. Uh, we have a brand new listing in one of the remote locations out here in Las Vegas. This is actually Section 10. If you guys don't know anything about Section 10, Section 10 is really about five miles away from the Las Vegas Strip. We are located on the west side of the um, 215. Actually, I'm sorry, on the 15. And if we take a look right down here, right, we're gonna run into uh, Sahara. We have Buffalo going west here. And then we have a Desert Inn going uh, south. Then if we head east, we have Rainbow. So this is literally five square miles now. What people really like about this area is a lot of these homes, they're all like multi-million dollar homes. And the benefit about this is that there's no HOAs. And if you want a custom home, these lots are an average a half an acre or even larger. So today we're gonna to be touring this brand new listing right here. This is a 1990 home that was actually completely remodeled. This is a modern contemporary style home. It is a single story home and it sits on a half an acre lot, on a corner lot. Now, what I love about this home, it is completely tricked out. And now this is one of those homes that is coming soon. It's, it's not ready yet, but I want you to stay tuned because we're gonna do another full walk around video. But I wanna show you guys before and after. And if you guys are interested in this property, you're gonna have every opportunity to get in on this deal before it even hits the market. So let's start off. So we talked about this property located on a cul-de-sac off into the corner. Right here's your cluster box. So as you can see, you don't have too many neighbors in this uh, neighborhood or this cul-de-sac. And one thing you'll notice is like how wide the streets are. Now when you get into like more custom neighborhoods that have HOAs, your streets are literally half of this. And I'm talking about like McDonald Highlands where you have 10, 15, 20 million dollar homes. I'm gonna show you all the upgrades, come on. So as you can see, they still have a lot that needs to be done uh, with this home. So be careful, it is a construction site. Now they do have a home right here that's for sale. And unfortunately that home is not moving. The thing about this is that when you have homes in this neighborhood, if they are outdated, they will not move. But a lot of people that have money, they wanna come here, but they wanna get into something that's move in ready. And also right now is that modern European style, modern type of home, and that's what this home has here. Now, a couple things as we come up to the house, I do wanna mention, like I said, home was built in 1990. It features 4,000 square feet, okay? four bedrooms, now you have two primary bedrooms, total five bath, right, with a three car garage. Now, right here as we come on into the house, the concrete right here will be painted, it's probably gonna be a light gray, okay? We do have some patches for the grass, it's being refurbished as well. So remember, all this right here will be all gray. On the uh, exterior, it's gonna be painted white, and I'm gonna show you exactly the color, okay? And it's called Salute, it's a beautiful white color. Now here, we're gonna replace this with a chandelier. And originally, there was actually like an arch here, but they took that arch out, and they're gonna do more of a, everything is all gonna be straight lines, clean lines, okay? Now, this door right here, okay? They're not gonna replace this door because you wanna have some of that charm in this neighborhood. So they're gonna keep this door, redo the windows here. So this is probably gonna be painted more of a, a matte black. And I think this is gonna be a gorgeous color. So come on in guys, let me show you what's going on. So as we come in, one thing that you're gonna notice that I wanna show you with the porcelain tile on the flooring, this is the nice modern style flooring. I love the color on here. You got some grays, you got some white. Now. This is less than an eighth of an inch. These are straight edge tiles. These are actually 24 by 48 inches. And now, here's the thing, attention to detail when it comes to custom homes like this. If you take your hand and you rub it all the way across, this thing is completely flat. But one thing that you're gonna notice on this, there is no grout. The reason why there's no grout right now on this home is because the owners are gonna wait until the end, then lay the grout, because you don't wanna put the grout and seal the grout, then you got workers coming in and out, you're gonna stain that grout. So now is not the time to do it, but what we're gonna do is wait until the end. Now, I wanna take you guys back here. So we have the formal dining, okay? 
Here's your main living area. What I like about this main living area, it is completely open. Now, the owners actually had to take down some of the walls, okay? But let me show you what's going on. Let, let's come around this way for a second, because I think this is gonna be our main focal point, okay? Let's talk about the uh, kitchen. So this island is gonna be a very large island. The countertops, right? It's a porcelain tiled um, countertop, and it's a European countertop. I believe it's called um, Terzoil or something like that. You know what, I'll actually have the name on the video right here. John, you're gonna add that right there for me, right? Uh, I just forgot the name, so I do apologize. But it's a beautiful countertop. But let me show you what that countertop looks like for a second here. It's this right here. Look how beautiful this countertop. So this is kind of like the style right now in Europe everybody's using. And basically, um, the style of this home is gonna be a, a contemporary, uh, modern European style. So if we take a look at how gorgeous these cabinets are, these are actually some quality cabinets here, if we take a look. So these are like pull-out pots, right? And underneath we have the uh, undermounted glides. As you can see how soft these are. Now these are gonna be all full overlays and look how clean this looks. Right here, right? I know it kind of looks very frosted, but we can actually just peel this back and it's a nice color on this. I mean, this thing is gonna be gorgeous. Back here, we're gonna have all tile back here, okay? A uh, couple things, the refrigerator, okay? The refrigerator is gonna be a built-in and it's also gonna be like a counter depth, which means it's gonna be seamless. It's gonna set flush to here and the doors, you're gonna have the panels. Right? So right here's the actual refrigerator. I know right now it just doesn't look right, but just to kind of give you a general idea of the refrigerator. Now this is actually the sub-zero refrigerator. So this is a highly graded um, refrigerator. Now let's take a look at um, the finishings on here. So if we take a look at the drywall right now, this is actually a level five finishings. Now they originally had orange peel texture because remember this was back in the 90s, right? So you have to think about this. This thing is actually pretty pricey to do. They literally had to sand this down and flush this wall because when you start to do level five finishings, right, it's kind of like a piece of artwork that you have to do. You got to sand it down. If the walls are not straight, you got to level everything out. You got to mud it. And the original corners were the bull nose, but they had to use the straight edge on here to level everything out. You can see how clean this is, okay? Now, coming over here, we have the, the pantry. Okay, show you the pantry real quick. Now, John, flip around this way right here because th this is where we're gonna do a lot of our entertaining and I want you to think about this. So, right off to the right here, this is gonna be where we're gonna have our dishwasher. Our sink is gonna set here and we're gonna have a beautiful, nice gooseneck. Now, right above us, we're gonna have a nice chandelier as well. Here, we're gonna have our uh, microwave on this side, okay? Now, coming back around and I wanna show you this right here. You see this? Look how cool that was. See this? No handles, right? Seamless. Beautiful. Highly graded materials. Now, on this side, we are going to have our, our oven right here, okay? So all this will be all built in. This would be nice and seamless. Now, let's come around this way. And I wanna show you a couple things here. So there was originally a wall here, but they had to take down this wall. Had to leave this, right? Because this is a low bearing wall, but this will all be cladded with some nice trim and wood. So it's gonna be gorgeous. Now coming out to the main living area again. So this home was really designed to entertain, but also be very functional for you and your family. Here, we're gonna have a countertop that goes all the way straight across. This is gonna be your bar. You're gonna have your little wine chili here. Right above here, you're also gonna have some storage space and also your wine rack right above. You're gonna have your sink and you're also gonna have your refrigerator. So again, this is great to entertain, you know, prep, pour some wine for your guests and your clients. Now we're gonna flip back around this side here, okay? A couple things. Uh, fireplace, this is all clad with some porcelain tile. We got three electric fireplaces. You have control with the LED lights. You can change the color. Now, coming across here, all this will be just cladded with wood, okay? And it's beautiful, as you can see right there on the screen. Now, also, the owners, what they also did here is, 
you know, back in the early 90s, they didn't really have too much light. And the kind of lights that they had was the old school can lights. So what the owners did were to replace all the lights and add LED lights too as well. Now, coming around this way, we do have a total of three bedrooms here, okay? You have bedrooms one, two, this is gonna be the Jack and Jill. So it may be a little bit dark, but I wanna take you guys in here. So as we come here, uh, the bedrooms are pretty decent size. I'm gonna say these bedrooms are about, give me just a second. So the bedroom size that we have listed on here is 15 by uh, 14. So they're decent size. We do have a closet here, but now we're gonna come through the Jack and Jill. Now it may be a little bit dark uh, for the camera guy. Uh, we have our toilet here. We have some nice cladding, but John, Let's come on this side. Let's get the light on our backside here so that way maybe the um, audience can see everything. How, how does that look? A little bit better? Okay, so everything is all completely cladded, okay? We do have a nice soap bar here off to the right. We have the tub. Then we have our modern sink that's floating. I cannot wait to show you the cabinets on here. It is a little bit dark, so you may not be able to see that, but I'm gonna show you uh, that in the primary. Now. One of the things um, a lot of these flippers are doing in you know, these custom homes, they're using the color white paint. But now this is not really white. This is called Salute. Salute actually has a little bit gray tone to it. And it's really nice because depending on the time of the day, you kind of get that gray. But you know, during midday, what you're gonna start to realize is you also have a lot of white too as well. So this is good for the next owner if you wanna paint it in a different color. So I think this is a good choice. Now, coming into the uh, second primary, because we actually have two. So we have another primary here, okay? So this is a pretty large primary. So this primary right here, uh, this one is gonna be uh, 18 by 15, so it's pretty large. So what they're doing is a LVP flooring, tongue and groove. And as you can see, okay, there's two ways to do this. You don't even need to put this pad, but the owners, right, because this is a high-end home, they're adding this extra cushion and adding this pad. But as you can see, these are all tongue and grooves here, but it already comes with the pad that's underneath. So what that means is as you're like walking around, it's floating, it's nice and squishy, it feels really good. If you didn't have that, what happens is if the um, concrete is not leveled, you're gonna feel like some parts, it's gonna buckle. So that's what they're gonna do to prevent this. And it's gonna feel really good on the feet, trust me. As you can see, these guys are adding it right now. Now come over here, John, let me show you this real quick. Um, we can't really get into the uh, bathroom right now, okay? But all this is tiled from floor to ceiling, floating vanities, you have a beautiful bench seat over here but I'm gonna take you to the main primary so that way you guys can have a general idea of what it looks like, okay? Now, all the outlets, all the rocker switches will be replaced, okay? Here we have our bathroom right here, so this is where your guest is gonna go and use the half bath, and it's gonna have a beautiful sink, but I'm gonna bring you in here just a little bit, okay? Now, this may be a little bit hard to imagine, but John, go ahead and I want you to pop this up on the screen. What you're gonna see is you're gonna have a nice, black pedestal sink here. We're gonna, we're gonna have a mirror right here. And this is what happens when you're on a construction site, okay? Okay, so as we come in through the main house, right? Through the front door here, as you can see, it's elevated about eight inches higher. This right here, this is gonna be your formal and your main dining area, okay? So on, on this right here, there's a couple things. You're gonna have a beautiful chandelier. You have four can lighting as well. So it's really gonna illuminate this area. Now I wanna take you to the primary. So here is the French doors as we come through. Now I wanna show you how large this is, okay? Come on. So this is gonna be a little bit hard to imagine, but we're gonna pop up the pictures up on the screen. Here, this is where your headboard's gonna be. We have outlets here. So imagine if you're just laying down, you don't want to get up because the home is too, uh, the room is too big. You can hit the switch to turn on and off your lights. We're gonna have some sconce lighting here. And I want you to imagine your headboard here. We're gonna have a nice future wall, okay? Sconce lighting. 
And then we're gonna have another future painted color strips right here. This is all gonna be black, okay? Now, as you can see how large this room is, we have a nice pitch on the ceiling, right? I literally feel like I'm in a whole different house right now. Here, we have another fireplace. Same material as the living room. So this is gonna be like your retreat area. The flooring is gonna be the LVP, the same thing as in the other secondary uh, primary. Now coming over here, okay, be a little bit careful, okay? So a couple things about this gorgeous primary uh, bath. You, you guys can't see this right now, but take a look, look, look at the material of the cladding all the way to the top. These are big slabs. These are not small slabs. If we take a look, this is 36, probably three feet by five feet. That's how big these slabs are, okay? Now, take a look at these cabinets. We have a beautiful European floating cabinets, LED strips along the wall. Here, this is where our sink is gonna be, right? I'm sorry, our sink's gonna be here. Then we have our hot and cold right here, mounted along the wall. But imagine a beautiful hard surface countertop, six inches from here. We also have a door that exits out to the back. Here we're gonna have our floating tub, or actually not our, our floating tub, Standing tub, that's what it is. Lost my train of thought. Now, imagine this. This shower is gonna be very hard to see, but if you take a look at all the cladding, look at the style of this. Look at this, one, two, three, four, five, six. Look at that. You're in here, boom, it's like a car wash, boom. That's how it is, you come in, okay? Now we're gonna head over to uh, the backyard. But, the problem with the backyard is we can't just go out there because they're covering this right now. But as you can see, this is a brand new slide. So they actually had to reframe this out and put this slide in. And this is not a cheap slide. This is a very extensive slide. So I think on this one is a one, two, three. Uh, three times four is what? Eight, 12 feet. 12 foot slide here. Dual pane windows as you can see. Now coming down this way, a couple things. We have, look at this, another bathroom. That's right. So if you have guests, they could use that one or they could use this one. Now, here is gonna be our laundry room, okay? This is gas as well. You're gonna have your cabinets, your sinks is gonna be here. Now I wanna show you some of the, uh, the materials, okay? This is a three car garage. Now, you're gonna pull up from the main street off to the side into your garage but the door panels is gonna be very hard to see. I don't know if you can get this or not, John. But you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These are eight foot doors, eight foot panels on here. These are solid doors, but the style on this is unbelievable. We have the original cabinets here. Now they did have, looks like the uh, central vac, but we took out the central vac here. Now coming down this way, uh, the backyard. Now, a couple things about the backyard, be careful, John, okay? The cooling deck has been painted. Now the backyard concrete here will also be painted gray as well, okay? Now we're gonna finish up on some of the grass. The pool has been resurfaced. The pool equipment is completely brand new. That's right. Now this home, and typically in this area, you're gonna have septic tanks, okay? What is a septic tank? Basically that's where all the wastewater will go other than to the city. Now the uh, tanks, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drain it out. We inspect it, everything is all good, so we're good to go. So that's gonna save you guys some money. Now, also the other thing is that the pool is actually a heated pool as well. And let's take a walk back here so that way people can see what's going on. As you can see, it's fully matured landscaping. You got a lot of grass, so if you got like pets, you got kids, the kids can run and play, I mean, these are big size lots, guys. Now, the lot size on here is 20,473 square feet. We do have an exit here as well. We have a gate. Our AC unit's gonna be on this side. Now, if you guys are interested in this home, this home is not on the market yet, but will be coming on the market. Now, if you guys are interested for 1.5 million, check this out. The earnest money deposit is only $50,000 tied up in escrow. Also, uh, property taxes is $5,478 a year. I mean, that's really good. And 
The best part, there is no HOA. So guys, if you guys are interested in this property, give us a call. And what we'll do is we'll set up a private showing for you guys. Other than that, until next time, I'm Chuck It's Peace.